So do you just stick somebody straight into the acquisition role or like I have a girl that's working for six bucks an hour. Who's got a college degree. She lives in Texas. She's creating my listings right now and um, pulling data for me. Uh, so I could probably give her like the acquisition training and just work her into that. Right. Yeah. It's probably going to be a gradual thing. And that's yeah. how I did it in the beginning. Um, I was still the acquisitionist. Brandy was the assistant and Little by little, I started delegating more and more to her. And the best way to train is to have them watch you do it live. So they're there with you. And then you watch them do it on the next few. And then they go off and do it on their own. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. You good? I'm good and all set. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks, man. Thanks for checking in. Get you muted back here. Jeff, what's your experience like hiring somebody? Do you just put them straight in like Nick was talking about, or do you kind of make it a gradual thing? Um, I've, I've had probably 20 acquisitionists in 20 plus years, and some for several years at a time that were really good. Um, and I had a particular type of person I was looking for, and that's all I ever did. As soon as I found them, I immediately trained them in, you know, what I do and, but exactly as you laid it out. Okay, you watch me for a couple of weeks. You sit next to me, listen to me call or whatever. And then we turn it around and you call and I'll listen and, you know, we'll go that route. And by the time, you know, I would do that, I'd have, you know, pretty well trained. I have probably trained uh, four acquisitionists that each bought over 200 houses, each one. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and this was a combination of, you know, all the different ways that we can do business. So some lease options, some cash deals for rehab, that kind of thing. So it's, but the, the methodology is always the same. It's let them watch you for a while, listen, and then, then roll, roll reverse it and do it the other way. Yeah. What was that profile that you found worked best? <laughs> it, if you don't mind sharing. Yeah, it, uh, I actually uh, did better with females um, who had psych degrees, psychology degrees. And I would be looking for uh, graduates of, I didn't care where they went to school in the country as long as it was a college. And if they were a psych major, I found that that was the, and younger, the younger the better, because and I, I know this probably is not politically correct, but um you know, back in 1999, nobody knew how to use phones. I mean, cell phones were, you know, they'd been around for 10, 15 years, but they weren't like, they weren't ubiquitous like they are today. Right. Yeah. And so learning how to text and, you know, learning how to, you know, uh, use those kind of things. Um, I found that the, yo the younger women knew how to do that inherently. They could figure that stuff out. <laughs> so we started out in 2000, 2001, we were actually buying houses. Funny that, that Nick, you mentioned it because we were buying houses and selling houses by text. And we were the only guys in the country who did it. And we, and I had no idea what they were doing, but they bring me contracts and you know, it was amazing. <laughs>